going on, guys? Welcome back to Living Life Fast, and today you join me at AWC. Man like Alex, what are you saying, bro? I'm doing very well, thank you. Yeah. Doing very well. We All have right. got something very, very, very special under here now. I'm excited. This is, in my opinion, one of our best transformations that we've done. Yeah. 10 out of 10 for quality, in my opinion. Just saying to you earlier, we had three uh, BMWs in this week. We had yeah. yours, which was all done. We had an M3 over here in uh, frozen finish from factory, yeah. and then 340 in that was frozen from factory. No difference at all between wow. the quality okay. from all three, <laughs> which is sick. Wait, so, and this is literally just a X called Expel Stealth. It's yeah. a PPF. We put it through the database, put it through the plotter, apply it onto the car. Takes about five days, and sick. The rest is history. People that are new, mm -hmm. AWC car detailing. AWC car detailing, based in Essex. Um, this is my tenth year in business, so started quite young, but built up a, a really oh, good. Yeah, 13. <laughs> 13 if you've seen the videos before. Yeah. Built up a really good kind of cultured business yeah. around uh, protecting cars with Expel PPF, detailing, mobile valeting, detailing training, the full shebang. <laughs> Ready? I'm ready, Alex. I'm All ready. Right. Let me see you. I want to see you. Let's go. Let's go. That looks unreal, doesn't it? Yeah, that is mad. That is mad. <laughs> oh, shit. It's Bro, sick, isn't it? No. It is so sick. Bro. Yeah, that's mad. Look at that, Alex. Yeah, proper matted off, isn't it? Yeah, big time, like full satin, the whole thing. And it feels, it's got that satin look from, from factory. You know where you get the metallic flake that comes through it when it hits yeah. the sun? Oh my God. It's, it's wow, unreal. look at that. Like we were saying before, when you put a wrap on a car, like a vinyl wrap, yeah. in my opinion, you don't get that nice finish across it. That looks like it's painted kind of Bro, thing. that is looking <laughs> 10 out of 10, mate. Is that my car, mate? That is your car. <laughs> no, it's actually yours, yours is outside. Yeah. The back as that well, like, we'll pull it forward. Ross Clot. That is the look from the front with the lights on. Yeah, the yellow lights. I wasn't too sure about the yellow no, lights at first. It suits it so much now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You just said, just do, do yeah. what you need to do, yeah. do what you do if, if it was mine, for example. Yeah. So, had it on the ramp. All four wheels taken off. Bearing in mind they're M Performance wheels, they're yeah. brand new, you know. So, we got them ceramic coated front face of the wheels, the calipers, the barrels of the wheels, yeah. the cleaning on those is going to be so, so easy, which right. is fresh. All ceramic coated, yeah? All ceramic coated, yeah. whole shebang. Yeah. Um, PPF ceramic coated as well, so yeah. like you can just feel by it how slick it actually is. Like even yeah. if you drop, a, drop water on it, it's so just going to disperse off. Glass as well, um, glass has been coated so when you're driving above about 30 or 40 miles an hour, it's just gonna sheet up. You'll barely need the wipers, which is which is exactly what you want. Yeah. And then you've got full interior protection as well. So yeah. leathers, fabrics, all the mats have been coated. Wicked. And then we've done a few little other little bits and bobs, but that's about it. I'm blown away, bro. Like now I'm yeah. sinking in more and more. So guys, we are in the LLF Games unit, and for those of you wondering why I've not been making content, take a look at how many cars are in here. This is what I'm on every day of the week. It's getting a bit hectic. Some of you probably remember I was doing one car a month. I then started doing one car a week, then two cars a week. The last few weeks, I've been doing four competitions a week. This week, moving forward, I'm actually trying to do like double that. So. It's crazy, you can see we've got some awesome cars, like a new shape RS3, I've still not even driven one of these. Let me know if you want to see a little uh, first drive. We've got an F80 M3, this is beautiful. We've got DMO C63, uh, somebody won that last night. I think the winner didn't, yeah, winner didn't answer the phone. We've got Golf, check out this Scooby here. This is a uh, Type R, I think WRX, I don't think it's an SDI. I'm not too sure on my jack cars, guys, but it's got a 20 B kit. It's running 4, 450 horsepower. It costs a lot of money. This one's going up on the website soon. Apologies, there's not been any regular content, but I promise you there will be a proper, proper return. I feel bad. It's been literally two weeks of no content. But yeah, this is what I'm doing, man. I'm just trying to pattern this shit so that I can come back and really show you what time it is. So 
guys, you join me in a 750 horsepower Audi RS6. I'm about to do a launch control, fingers crossed, flashbacks to when I broke Calvin's RS6 that, yeah, we don't blow this diff. Anyway, let's do this. So this is an ABT RS6, obviously four liter V8, twin turbo. Uh, stays tuned by MRC, so up by about 200 brake horsepower. And this is my genuine first impressions. Ooh, that is a serious kick, isn't it? <laughs> Let's throw her in. Oh, RS sixes are just. Boy, bro, have a listen. So yeah, we have we got a nine thousand pound Acropovic exhaust. So yeah, we've got a 9,000 pound Acropovic exhaust. We've got a genuine ABT kit. So we're talking front splitter, canards, uh, side skirts, spoiler, I think diffuser as well. 10,000 pound genuine ABT badges here. We've got ABT badges on the rear. And we also have TSW 21 inch alloys. Let's turn traction off because I feel it's a little bit hesitant. Where is the there off? Sounds like a chainsaw, man. Oh, MRC do not play. Some of you will know MRC are the guys when it comes <laughs> to R6 tuning. So just a summary, the car's had literally 30,000 pound in aftermarket modifications, it's had 10,000 pound in optional extras from factories, finished Leonardo gray. We've got the flat bottom wheel, obviously four liter V8, twin turbo charged. As I said, 9,000 pound Acropovic exhaust system. Stay tuned, it's an absolute flying machine. She's on the website, you can win it. The competition ends tonight. Shit, I've got to go through. Ooh, brakes are amazing. I don't know what has been done to the brakes. Maybe pads, lines, fluids, who knows? I'm actually off to have brakes done on my M4 now. The steering is nice and weighty. So yeah, I did just mention it's got the dynamic steering. So as we're traveling faster, it is getting nice and weighty. Reminds me literally of an M5 or any any form of M car, but insanely fast, too fast. <laughs> suspension secrets guys so um just a quick update took her for a drive last night a proper drive yeah and uh yeah even on the streets i mean a little stiffer than i thought it would be you yep. probably see the video but yeah track day is going to be unbelievable already cool. not. another bit you mentioned was brakes yeah the g82 is standard comes with a massive caliper big rotor so you've got pretty good bit of kit sat there already yeah um, unless you're going down like the carbon ceramic route and you're looking for lightweight then in terms of steel these are pretty good yeah so where they fall down is is the part of the lines and the fluid. We're gonna start with some uprated Paget RSL29 pads. Mm -hmm. So an uprated compound that can take the heat. So when it's getting up to really high temperatures, they're not gonna fade. They're gonna keep the bite and they're gonna keep the consistency. Then the next step is you're gonna be generating that heat. So what would fail next is your fluid would boil. So it, standard fluid wouldn't last as much when you're really pushing hard and generating loads of heat. So we're gonna uprate the fluid um, into a, a racing brake fluid that can take the heat and boil at a much higher temperature. What fluid is it we're going to? This is just H HBF 320, uh, okay. so it's 710 racing brake fluid. Your brake lines are then gonna be the next part to fall. So they're gonna get soft with the heat and they're gonna start expanding under really heavy brake pressure. And that expansion gives you a sponge in the pedal. So when everything else is working, that's the last fall down. So we're gonna fit some good, rage, uh, some good ridge stainless steel braided lines Wicked. and they're going to keep their form so even at really high pressure they're, they're coated with stainless steel braid they can't flex out so they're going to keep that pedal nice and stiff. They can balloon can't they the stock ones? Yeah they can yeah. yeah, yeah. So obviously recently we had a load of carbon fibre installed by Auto ID. Two mods that didn't turn up were the carbon mud flaps, so you can see these. Hopefully it'll make the car visually look a bit better. Also got the M Performance style carbon fiber tips. Another thing I forgot to mention to you lot is I've had the side skirts body colored. So this was all black before. I've had it skyscraper gray. Obviously I had it done before having the car uh, PPF'd. 
there's quite a few people mentioning about the wheel space you fitted when you left here. Yes, uh, yes So it's yes. probably worth mentioning that, A, we did discuss it off we, camera. We did, um, yeah. yeah so What's your thoughts though? It depends what you're doing with the car, ultimately. When you fit a wheel space, so say we've set your camber and your toe, for example, fitting a wheel space it doesn't affect that because we've set the angle of the hub. So your wheel's here like this and you're just literally moving it out. So the angles aren't changing. Yeah. What it does affect on the front is something called scrub radius. And that's where you've got to be careful about going too thick on the spacer. Um, but something like this has a minimal effect, especially on a, on a road car. Believe it or not, guys, I am planning to get a lot more hands on this year. And we're going to start off with Ricky's first modification, which is the inner line of the arch. As soon as we put the spacers on, uh, it's actually been catching on the inside and it's making a horrible sound when I lock it, when I come off the drive. So, did they call these pliers or something? I don't know. We're gonna just snip these off. Yeah, boy. What's that, mod number one? Second modification. Number two. I'm hoping that that may stop the rubbing. You see that there? I'm left-handed, bit of a spacker, lads, I'm not gonna lie. You see the finish on that? Smooth. Look at how sick that pad looks behind that caliper. Wow, 20, 30 BHP just there, lads. Wow, have a look at that, guys. Nice upgrade there, boy. I mean, definitely exhaust coming at some stage, but for now, can't go wrong with that, man. Carbon tips. But we also had these corner trimmings that were gloss black before. This is now body colored. Yeah. We are...